Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 14 of my Wingnut Wings Sopwith Dolphin build. Firstly, in today's episode, I'm going to start by removing the wing struts from the sprue and cleaning them up ready for spraying. So, without further ado, let's ramp up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. On each strut there are two tiny holes for the rigging to go through so I decided to get my PCB drill bits out and make sure it went all the way through so I can fit the wire in later. You can see I'm gluing the strut in now. This was a huge mistake. I decided to remove it later on as I wanted to paint the struts first rather than after it was glued. Doing this and by removing it also allowed me, allowed me to root the rigging as well, as you'll see later on. And out it comes. A little worse for wear, but nothing that can't be rectified. Anyway, I had a bit of a drama today. I had loads of parts in one of my homemade phone blocks. Swung my arm around and knocked it for six. Yes, there was carnage and damage and swearing and lots of gnashing of teeth. As well as hunting on the floor for the said parts. Some of the small ones are MIA, so I'm going to have to scratch build said parts. Ho oh, hum. Anyway, actually saying it was quite cathartic. Anyway, let's crack on with more stuff for the fuselage. I've been pondering for a few days now how to do the rigging from the top wing that comes down. Here I'm just seeing if the wing will fit on with some of the rigging line in the hole that connects it to the main fuselage. So let's test this theory. Get it in there. Result. I love it when a plan comes together. So let's get this line glued in place. There we go, that's both of them done. Now to do the clear orange on the prop hub. There we go, that's the prop hub done. Let's put that to one side, let that dry. Now I'm gonna do the rest of the struts for the wings. So take them off the sprues, clean them up, and get them ready to be painted. Because the struts go in certain positions, I laid them out in numbered order, got my cork clips, numbered each clip to the relevant part number so I didn't forget. I've done that so many times before, never again. Anyway, now time to clean up the parts.
At the same time as I'm cleaning the parts up, I'm masking one end with tape and the other with a clips. This will hopefully keep the amount of paint getting on the mating parts down to a minimum. And for some unknown reason, I'm putting gloves on. Don't ask me, how do you expect me to know why I did something? And that's them done. Now I'm going to quickly mask one end of the top wings as the, 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 the that's easy for me to say the ailerons need priming. Oh yeah that's why I put the gloves on because I'm going to be doing some priming and spraying in a minute. Here, I'm just sorting out what's going to need spraying and also I'm just gluing on the chain drive for the prop. Right, sorry about this change of plans. I'm going to mask off the rear part of the fuselage and the wings so I can put down the dark battleship grey mixture I've made up on the front. This is their colour, not mine, so let's crack on and get it all mashed up. This is a long section, sorry folks, stay with me. Note to oneself, stop being pretentious and don't wear blue gloves whilst working over a blue background. It's a nightmare to edit. Choose a different colour background.
there we go that part's masked now to do the prop this one won't take as long promise There we go, all prepped, masked, ready for the first major colour to go down on. Oi! Cheap seats! No! On the outside. Well, this seems like a good place to end. What do you mean? You want to see the first lot of paint? Okay. If you want to see that, come back and check out episode 15. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Help it grow, get the message out there to as many models as possible, like the video and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.